What's up guys? Dave from Six String Stanger. Welcome back. I know it's been a long time. I've uh, been waiting on the weather to kind of get nicer and it has finally gotten nicer out. Um, if you live in Ohio, you know what I mean. So we're going to get ready and sand this down and uh, I'll show you what I'm going to do uh, with these wonderful colors of paints that I've chosen. Alright guys, so you know I chose some fluorescent colors. If you follow me on Instagram, you already know this. So I'm going to go ahead and get this sanded down and get it nice and smooth out. And uh, we'll go from there and get some color put on this bad boy. Okay, so I went over with this with uh, 220, got it all nice and smoothed out now. Looks pretty good. So now I'm going to go ahead and sand off the neck. Hey guys, so I got the neck all sanded down. Feels really good and smooth. Got all the edges that, uh, or all the rough edges off of it. All right guys, so we're gonna concentrate on the body. I think what we'll do, get it taped off and uh, then I'll get it sprayed up with, uh, I don't know if I'm gonna use a primer or just a white base. I might just use a white base paint because of, uh, you know, the way, uh, if you're using like, fluorescent colors like this you need a whiter or a lighter color so I'll probably end up using a white base um, behind it and then we'll go from there but in the meantime let's get this taped up guys so I got her all taped up uh, hey you know what when you run out of regular tape to use like frog tape or whatever use duct tape man actually I like using electrical tape because it bends a lot easier and uh, you have more control with it so but anyway this should do what I need it to do let's go ahead and take it out in the garage and uh, let's start this little journey shall we oh boy <laughs> yeah let's get started all right guys, so when I get started, I'm gonna spray it with a little bit of white to make the uh, fluorescent colors pop. These are a few of the fluorescent colors I'm gonna use, and if you ever painted with a fluorescent color or a brighter color, it tells you to use a lighter color on the bottom to make sure that they pop. So, I'm gonna go ahead and spray that really lightly, lightly with white to get started. All right guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and spray this with white um, on the guitar to uh, allow the fluorescent colors to pop through when I go painting over top of that and then we'll get into what I'm doing okay so let's go ahead and put the white on there okay so that's all I really wanted to do is just get a white base on there uh, I did go ahead and put a uh, Bellin's um, vinyl sealer on it before I did that so I'll let this dry for maybe 15-20 minutes and then I'll come back and we'll start doing the added color to the guitar alright guys so I let that dry for about uh, it's been 15-20 minutes a good flash drive dry, dry. <laughs> uh, yes yeah, 
not really tacky at all. So I'm going to go ahead and start adding my first color. Uh, this one here is just a yellow. This is a fluorescent yellow color. So as I'm allowing this time to dry, you're probably wondering, what the hell are you doing? Well, believe it or not, I have a uh, an idea with this guitar. Um, actually, I'm going to do, um, since I won this uh, through the giveaway of Brad Angove, I'm going to do one of his uh, techniques. If you followed him for a while, you'll know of this technique. Uh, basically, now that I have this all down, I'm going to let this dry a bit, and uh, then I'm going to use the uh, dish soap method, okay? The idea behind that is the paint won't stick to the soap, so I'm just going to kind of squiggle some uh, lines on there, and then we'll put a top coat of white on it, and let that dry completely, and then we wipe it off. So... I mean, it kind of looks kind of cool right now, so, but you never know what you end up with. So we're going to let this dry for a bit, and then we'll come back, okay? All right, guys, so I let this sit for maybe 10, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, something like that, and uh, accidentally we got some crackles, which is cool crackles. I mean, if you look at it, these are the kind of mistakes that you find sometimes that uh, turn out to be pretty awesome. So basically... Uh, I think I know what happened. I put the clear, or I put a gloss white on underneath this as a base coat, as you've seen. And this stuff, the fluorescent stuff, is not uh, gloss colored. It's just kind of a matte or a flat, I guess. But that's what we ended up with. All right, guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the uh, drizzling of the soap onto the guitar, and then I'm gonna top it off with white once again. Um, if it crackles, it crackles. Might look pretty cool. I don't know. We'll see what the end product looks like when it's all finished. So, here goes nothing. put the white on it got a little heavy right through here but not too happy about that but this is what it is now we're gonna put the top coat on it and then we gotta let this dry for about two hours roughly here goes nothing Alright guys, so we uh, sprayed it, I'm going to let it be for, oh, I don't know, we'll let it go a couple hours, and then uh, just take some paper towels, a little moist paper towels, and wipe it all down, and see what we end up with. Oh boy, kind of scary. Hope it turns out good. It worked pretty good for Brad. So, yeah. Well, while we're waiting on that to dry out there, we'll go ahead and get this taped off and ready to go as well. I'm going to do the same thing to the headstock. All 
right, so we got this all ready to go. We'll go ahead and uh, do the same patterns as we did before on the other one. So, or you know, the same technique. So, sorry about the use of duct tape. But the only idea of that is just to keep the paint off of stuff so it's not really hurting anything. So, yep, ready to go. All right, guys, so went ahead and uh, put the sealer on there and I put the white, gloss white, like I just did on the uh, body. So I'm waiting for that to dry so I can go ahead and put my colors on this and do the same technique I did with the soap and stuff while we're waiting for the body to dry. So, uh, getting ready to put color on it now. All right guys, so here we go. This is uh, just the splattering of the soap. And here we go. Now we just coat it in white and we wait for it to dry just like the body. Alright guys, I think I got this in the in the picture good enough there all right so it's dried for about two hours now uh, it's not bad at all I'm gonna go ahead and start uh, taking a little bit of water with some paper towels and I'm just gonna wipe off the the uh, soapy part and hope for the best Right, guys the body turned out pretty awesome uh, yeah I mean this is a pretty cool technique um, like I said I got this off of Brad Angove it's on his channel if you guys follow him and a lot of you guys have followed me since I got this guitar um, so yeah it just looks like a a painter's nightmare <laughs> all right well, let's hope the headstock turns out just as good so all right that's that
also got the color on it, got it all wiped down. I'm gonna probably wipe it down one more time, just make sure all the soap and stuff is off there. I think it turned out pretty decent. Um, you know, I'm, I wasn't really, I don't know. <laughs> I like it. I, I, I guess my first thought was when I did this, I was gonna do uh, black background instead of white. But then I got to thinking, I got the white pick guard and stuff, so I just like go ahead and do that, and then neon colors. It's definitely something different. Uh, I've never done anything like this before, so. But uh, I do like the technique, like I said. Um, this was uh, an idea off of Brad Ango's YouTube channel. Um, I'll leave a description, or a link down in the description below, so you can go check out his channel if you haven't already. Uh, I know a lot of you guys are from his channel, so you may have already seen this technique. Uh, it's pretty badass, it's awesome. Brad is an awesome, uh, you know, awesome artist and has a lot of great ideas on that channel for guitars. So, I thought since uh, I won this from Solo Music Gear and Brad, Brad Ango that I would uh, go ahead and do one of his techniques on one of the guitars that I won from him. Okay guys, so that pretty much wraps it up for this video. Uh, I hope you liked it. If you did like it, drop a like down below and uh, leave some comments down below what you think. Uh, I think I'm just going to go ahead possibly and just leave this natural and uh, we'll get it all like you know, put a clear coat over top of it. Uh, I'm not actually sure if that's what I'm going to do, but as of right now, that's kind of like my thoughts. Uh, so, anyway, follow me on Instagram and Twitter for any more updates that you're going to see in the future. And uh, sorry it took so long to get this one done. Like I said, I live in Ohio and the weather is pretty crappy. Alright guys, you've been awesome. Rock on everybody. It's all about the music. We'll see you guys in the next video.